Hello, hello, welcome to another Blender tutorial for board games. Today we're gonna to create a box with UV spot finish. Give it that nice shiny look. For this example, we're using My Management, which has a very unique box cover. And so that the UV spots has a different picture than the actual game art. And that sort of reveals a secret as you move it around. Very cool stuff but it can work for basically any type of map. So how do we do this? Okay, I'm gonna start with a pre-made box for this. To see how to do this, you can visit this tutorial below. What we need to do is essentially have, this is our map for the box unwrapped. We need to have a similar one, which looks like, like this, okay? Just the parts we want to emboss, we need to have them in white. So let's take this map, drag it in. Now there's two methods to do this. One, if we really want it to stand out, we can connect it simply to the emission node. Let's switch to rendered view. This way it will really shine out if this is the element you would want to focus on. We want to make something a little bit more realistic. I'll connect it to the roughness node. Let's sever this one. And now add a color ramp. Sorry. Color ramp. Put it here. And play around with this a little bit until you get the effect you want. Okay, now lighting is really important. For this, I just simply paste, uh, placed a point lamp, very, very low. And the angle of the camera juxtaposed to that point. So once they hit each other, we should get the reflection, not on the full box, but just part of it. Okay, the next step is to take this, sim this same app, add a bump node, connect it to the height, and to the normal. This would give that sort of sticking out effect where you can actually feel, when you see it, you can actually feel yourself touching it. This is a little bit too much. Let's, let's take this down a bit. Maybe 0 0.5, according to our specification. There, that looks a lot more realistic. Now, depending on what the effect you want to achieve, you can play around with these the strength and distance. Okay, I just maybe if I just want to hint at it, I can make this really low. That's a little too low. 0 0.9. Maybe let's go 0 0.1. 0 0.5. There we go. And now you render. And that's it. It's simple as that. Again, there's a lot of a, there's a lot of playing that you need to do, especially with lighting, but the idea is to juxtapose the camera and the point light, so you would get that effect. Okay, let me know if you have any questions in the, in the comments below, and if you like this, please like, share, and subscribe, and let me know what else you would like to see here. Thank you.